there are numerous uh, barriers that women face, number one, in just entering the college field, and then in entering technical education. Uh, technical education is generally seen as a male-dominated field, a male domain, and uh, we have to face it. There are still walls that are up that say we don't want women in these fields. A woman does not belong in this field. So you've got to go in and break new ground. You've got to find your place. You've got to be accepted. I think that's, that's so important. The stereotype that uh, the home is where the woman belongs. The typewriter is where the woman belongs. The woman doesn't belong in the greasy, uh, under a greasy car. Those are all stereotypes and barriers that women have to overcome. Once they've gotten there, they have so many personal needs in terms of family, in terms of child care. Uh, a lot of women are a part of the sandwich generation where they're taking care of older parents. And uh, the world has so fixed it that that's where women are to be. Now, if you're flying an airplane at midnight, how is it that you're going to be there to care for your elderly parents? Barriers. The mission of the WRC is to design, develop, and implement a comprehensive program for the recruitment and retention of women in technical education. About 17 years ago, uh, the enrollment of females at TSTC was at about 17%. And someone had the notion as to why were we not attracting females. I, a task force was developed to, dis, to study the reasons that women were not enrolling in technical education. The number one factor was they felt it was a man's world. Uh, it's not a household word to talk about uh, diesel mechanics for females, air pilot training for females, auto mechanics for females. You don't talk about those type of things at the dinner table. And uh, this task force came up with different uh, ideas and different reasons as to why women were not taking the field of technical education seriously. From that, we found that one need was the need for support services, the need for uh, to create awareness for technical education, and to have a place that women could go to find those resources. And from that, to have someone to go out and uh, create this awareness base. And we felt it needed to start in K through 12. Because if they waited until they were 12th graders or young adults, then uh, the job would have been more difficult. But we wanted to start uh, girls knowing early about the opportunities that were available. Therefore, we developed a center that was fully equipped with resources, fully equipped with information, fully equipped with personnel that could deal with these types of circumstances. There are counseling services, we have personal growth and development workshops, survival skills, practical skills training, the things that look you in the eye and say, what is it that you need? What is it that will make you a better woman? Uh, the holistic approach to learning in terms of I've got school, I've got family, I've got the community, and some of these women even have part-time jobs. Achieving balance in their lives and keeping those emotions intact.